What's up guys, it's me Anthony, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a study with me compilation from one night. I think this is the night after the PSAT and this assignment is my AP Bio assignment. We're doing genetics and he heredity, yeah, that's how you pronounce it. And it's a uh, Amoeba Sisters video question sheet. We love the Amoeba Sisters, we love them, we stand them, go subscribe. <laughs> but we have to fill in this assignment about heredity and this is actually a couple days after the PSAT and that's why I had a lot of work to do there because when I was taking the PSAT there were still assignments I had to do so I was like I'm not gonna do them on the day I just took the PSAT and yeah so I don't know what I got on the PSAT I feel kind of good about it kind of not don't know it was like a test and it was early and I love to move around I don't know if you guys noticed in my vlogs I love to move around so being having to sit down for three hours and take a test was not fun so moving on to some world history homework, I'm doing some questions about the Renaissance in Italy and you guys have probably heard this a million times, especially if you follow me on Instagram. World history has to be my number one, number one, number one, number one favorite subject ever. I just love learning about like different cultures and different history. Like it's just so much fun learning about like different things. Especially the Renaissance, because the Renaissance, it's like a lot more about the arts and the architecture and the literary aspects of it. So it's really fun learning about like the Renaissance and all these famous like artists like Leonardo da Vinci, M Michelangelo, all those um, fun artists. So yeah, I'm just answering questions. This assignment was handwritten. Honestly, I always handwrite my assignments. It just helps me remember history. That's one tip I do have for history classes is try to write down as much as you can because hit writing down helps you memorize it and normally if i write it down one or two times or read it one or two times then i'm most likely going to remember it so i really don't study for history tests sometimes i may like reread -read my notes and like make some more notes about it but normally i write stuff down and pay attention to class and lectures and things like that and i'm kind of set a little bit i don't know this probably seems bad but i do also look online for like other materials and stuff like that So, moving on to, not moving on anywhere, actually, this pen I'm using is really nice. I put it in my stationery haul a couple of weeks back, and you guys are finally seeing me using it for the first time. This is a Uni Alpha Joe pen. I love this pen so much for taking notes, answering questions, everything is so great. I'll flip flop between this one and the Zebra Sarasa Push Clip in the Snoopy Limited Edition body, one of my favorite bodies I own, besides all the colored ones I own. So I guess since there's a lot of empty airspace here, um, we could talk about like social media and my thoughts on life, I guess. This is like the beauty of a study with me video that I'm gonna be doing a lot of the same things for a long period of time, so I have a lot of time to talk. So I guess we'll start off with social media. Lately, I've been in love with YouTube. Um, my numbers are going up. I wanna just say thank you so much for anyone who's decided to watch my videos or subscribe or just engage with my videos it means the world to me and i'm just super happy everything is going well in life i just am finding like that perfect balance you know the marie Kondo way um i just i'm happy i'm very genuinely happy i'm very confident right now and it's really amazing to be able to feel this way especially like knowing that I have all my stuff together and all under wraps and my camera cut off here but I just flipped to the back side and finished one question or two but yeah I've just been really happy and everything's been going great except for on Instagram Instagram like I don't know it's like acting crazy like I am like losing followers I guess I don't know it's just Instagram you know Instagram is always you know acting crazy especially after that new update they decide to have which they thought was going to be better it really wasn't
so moving on to some more world history this is the bell ringer and i did this on my ipad and i just didn't feel like filming this part so i just did a screen recording and we're learning about the renaissance still but we're also learning about a lot of the printing pressing history about the renaissance so this is about the printer press invention i believe so this is also one of those assignments where i did miss it because of the psat and we have to do a bell breaker every day and i'm the only one who really does this and i kind of handwrite them on my ipad <laughs> and it's also really nice because instead of having to do it in a word document and type it i can all i can put them all in the same document as you can see at the top the header was unit four and i could turn them in all at once and that's also how she likes it too so moving on to this next this is my research methods class it's basically an extra science class that i don't really like or really care for but i have to do it so we're learning about the metric system and how we have to use that in science and chemistry then the standard system u.s system um i don't know but this one is about grams if i'm not mistaken yeah grams so I just had answer a couple questions do a little matchup game and it was a really easy assignment it was easy hundred honestly we love it it's keeping my gpa really high so moving on to this next class this is a new class i did not have this class last semester this is my economics class so we have a unit one test and as we're recording this voiceover we already took it and your boy got a 92 you know haha <laughs> So I'm just doing the study guide. I go in and do the study guide by myself, and then I go in and look at my notes and add corrections, things like that. So I really recommend that if your teacher lets you do that, like, say it's not for a grade, you go in and write in all you know in one color, and then go in and make corrections and or like fill in blank spots with another color. And I love doing this because it helps me know like what I actually need to study for and what I don't need to study for, because you can get lost in things you already know or things you besides things you don't know i don't know if that makes sense at all but right here i'm just correcting my study guy so i knew what to study for my test and i got a 92 so it obviously worked so next thing here i'm going to be writing in my spanish title headers and here's something you guys may not know if you guys are taking any kind of level of spanish please do not use google translate i'm begging you i'm literally begging you don't use google translate P use spanish dictionary it's also known as spanish dict it's a lot more accurate and it's a lot easier to learn i use this a lot because it gives you lessons and also you can learn like conjugations things like that so it really helps a lot don't use google translate use spanish it did it teaches you a lot more instead of just giving you the definition and it tells you how to pronounce it and all those kind of things so i do all my spanish headers in spanish so i can have to actively recall what certain terms mean and also i'm going in and adding like the highlights and all the fun fancy things you see me do in my other videos and moving on to the last thing in this segment video which is this Greeks and gods chart. This is not for world history. This is for English. We're learning about the Greeks and gods and goddesses. So we had to compare two, compare and contrast two of them. And I did Zeus and Hera. Hera? Hera? I don't know. Maybe like the Spanish class coming out of me. But it was really nice and easy assignment. Really chill way to end off the night. And yeah, and that is going to be it for this video. Like I said, please let me know if you guys like these uh, study with videos. And if you guys do, let me know in the comments. And yeah, that's it. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media, which is Instagram, here on YouTube, and TikTok, which is all at a stationary. And yeah, see you guys in the next one. Bye, my stationary fam.